one. Oh, let me just push you up a bit. There we go. Uh, it is Thursday. I've just had a fresh delivery of new business cards. I went for bees this time and went for some updated information on the back. I really like the colours, they've turned out really well and they're on a recycled card too, which is always a bonus. And of course, my otters arrived. These have come out nicely. Um, today, I want to attempt, let me just move this order out of the way. I want to attempt to finish my fox today, I hope, so that I can order some prints in a pim as well. Um, I've had a lot of interest, bless all of you, so um, yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing today. I need to sharpen some pencils. In my last video where I did the otter, a few of you asked what I was using, um, and it was linked below, but just to remind you guys, I've been using the Arteza pencils, which I'm actually really enjoying using. I've got the tint of 72, and I'm also using this paper, which is the grey tone Arteza, and... Here's all the information on it. Um, it's a little bit on the thin side, but other than that, I really, really like working on it, and I love the grey tones, especially when it comes to using the um, the white pencil, and it builds up really, really nicely, and you can create lots of layers with it. Um, this this light pink here is actually this one. There's no white on this flower at the moment, so yeah, I'm just trying to practice my flowers and my animals a bit more. And uh, I'm really pleased with this one. <laughs> I also need to put these away. Oh, I'm trying to distract myself from my dentist appointment later today. So, um, yeah, let's just do some drawing. <laughs> and add them into the shop. really awesome delivery was it yesterday no it was Monday um I won't open it because I know some of my patrons like things to be a surprise but there is a spoiler warning post over on patreon and it's public so anyone can see it. if you want to see what's inside this box go and check it out but it was so exciting to me I nearly cried when it came I was just so so happy I've just you know had a bit of an emotional cry because look at these I've just put them onto backing cards but these are my new wooden pins are you gonna focus at a time like this come on little camera you're not even that old there we go 
Oh my goodness. I'm so happy with these. I literally just had to have a little sit down, had to have a little word with myself because I was just so emotional. They're so good. They've come out really nicely. I need to sit and put all 50 onto their backing cards in a second but I also thought I would show you uh, this month's paper gang so if you don't want any spoilers feel free to skip ahead a couple of minutes tell you what I'll put some timestamps below so that you don't accidentally um, spoil anything if you've not had your paper gang yet but this is the August box look at this very intricate illustration style I'll be interested to know who has designed this box I'm seeing hot coffee which excites me a lot Look at all of these details. I feel like every time I look at this spaceship, pizza, apple, every time I look at it, I see something new. Oh, so this month is pink. So in this one, I've not had a washi tape yet in any of the paper gang boxes, but we have a washi tape. Um, the washi tape isn't my cup of tea, so I might pass it on to my sister, but still, I think washi tape is a really good, um, I've been having paper gang now for three, four months, and I've not had washi tape yet, so it's good to see that. And if you're a fan of enamel pins, there's a little pretzel inside, which I think is quite cute. So there's a greeting card, which they've put plastic free packaging onto, which is a great step in the right direction. Let's see if that peels off without... Oh, yeah, it peels off without damaging the card, which is good. Yeah, so that's nice. I just can't get over the detail in these designs. I could not do something like this. She must have the patience of a saint. There's the usual monthly planner thing, calendar, an art print. Oh, I think this might be wrapping paper. <laughs> also a weekly planner I made a fresh batch of sausage rolls <laughs> Meh, I love these so much I've just made a fresh new batch and now I am going to work on a new drawing sorry I'm just trying to hide my patron stickers I sketched out this bear a couple of nights ago um, and it's gonna go in my new activism pack it's like an anti-circus theme um, and then I'm going to sit and draw that whilst watching the rest of Hotel Transylvania.
let's show you what was inside this month's Pim Party Club box, which has now changed its name to Tiny Party Club, which is meant to be a little bit more inclusive of everything in the box and not just focus around the pin. Um, so if you haven't had your box yet from Tiny Party Club, <laughs> I have to keep remembering how to say it because I'm so used to saying Pin Party Club. If you haven't had your box yet, look away now because I'm going to show you what was inside the August box. So the theme, so I've unwrapped mine already because I just can't wait, but the theme is 90s kitten sleepover and um, this is the pin sorry my hands are like butter today i just keep dropping everything this is the pin is it going to focus sleepy kitten society it's double clasped which is um usually the norm for sugar and sloth products with heart shaped clasps on the back oh, it's so cute um sticker which i personally love mr lava lava i really want a lava lamp I had one in the 90s but I want another one. I just remember them taking ages to heat up so let me know if you've got one and um, what you think to yours. There was this badge too which came on a little backing card but I was very quick to put it on my pin flag. It's very cute and then probably my favourite thing is this adult was better in the 90s Tamagotchi keyring. I don't know what was my favourite actually it's between these two the sticker because Mr. Lava Lava, that's just, that's epic. And this key ring. Mm -hmm.